Hello everyone, this is GhostSquad57 here, and today I'm taking a look at Cloud-Based Prime by Floating Island Games. Uh, now, full disclosure, the developer of this game uh, did send me a copy, uh, and I'm very glad that they did that, or else I never would have known about this game. Uh, it's a pretty interesting little indie game that I've been playing on and off for a little bit today. Uh, and I definitely have a few things to say about it. So this is the main hub here. This is where you can uh, change your weapon types. I currently only have uh, you can auto, which is where if you hold left click, you shoot repeatedly, or you can have charge. I prefer to have the charge shot. Um, and you also, I also only have the combust special ammunition, which is where uh, you can use fuel to activate it. And it, when you hit an enemy and it kills them, they kind of like explode. Uh, and you can also have see your powers here. And you just, as you play through the game, you uh, collect these power ups. I actually just got these summon hollow tile power up. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys. Uh, what this game is about. I'm gonna go ahead and hop right in to uh, section three here. This is the section I'm at in the game. This game is in early access, so I'm sure there's going to be more stages and uh, new types of power-ups and stuff added in the future. And what's cool is even though the game's still in early access, uh, the developer has shown, it seems like the developer has shown day one Linux support, which is really awesome. And I've known, I know Hex TSL, I believe he also got a key for this game. So the developer not only seems to care about like uh, what smaller YouTubers think, but also what Linux YouTubers think. So that's a really interesting uh, thing, because not, not a lot of developers uh, or publishers even think about uh, the Linux platform and look at some of the YouTubers in that uh, platform and actually get reach out to them. Because I did not ask for a copy of this game. I was actually given one. Um, so that was really cool, the developer, to reach out and do that. Uh, and I've been enjoying the game for a bit now. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and hop into a stage here. Uh, one interesting thing about this game is its dialogue, is as we'll play through, you'll hear some pretty uh, funny dialogue. I'm actually going to turn the game up a bit so you guys can hear it a little better. So here. Galactic poop, rad, right? This is normally how we move power around for things that can't process fuel on their own. But we figured it might help you here. So maybe move some rails around to get a little zap where you need it. So yeah, very, this game's got some uh, pretty interesting dialogue. There are a few instances where there's, the games may be chuckle. Um, so yeah, the, the main point, part of uh, Cloud Base 9 is you just kind of progress through the game. And uh, you play as like this uh, human who's in this suit. And you're kind of thrown into this gas mining facility. Um, and you're just really trying to get back up and get the hell out of here and figure out what's going on. Because you got all these evil robots and stuff. And it's like, wait, what? What's going on? You know what I mean? You're just trying to get to the... Whoa, I just fell. <laughs> okay, so starting off strong. See, I wouldn't... So... Hey there, how you doing? All right, let's do this thing. Fixing the time. I'm fixing you. It's gonna be good. It's already good. Yeah, we're good. All right, so... Yeah, so the main kind of interesting draw of this game is that you're able to uh, shift tiles up and down of um, these hex, hex tiles here. So if I hit Q, I can change the direction in which the tiles go, like up or down. Uh, and of course, if you're on it and then you go up, it actually launches you in there, which is very satisfying, very uh, fun mechanic to manipulate. Um, so I think here, I've got to figure out what to do here. Oh, all right, so here's what we'll do. We'll go here, actually lower all these so we can get under the force field. Then we're going to pop ourselves up here. See if I can just sort of hop off this for a little bit. There we go. Now we're underneath the force filter. Let's go ahead and destroy this. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, wow. I was actually one on top of him. So there are enemies throughout the game. Uh, left click is how you shoot your little ball here. And then you have right click, which controls the uh, tiles. And then you have one through three is how you activate your uh, special abilities here. And to use your special abilities, you need to gather fuel. Um, fuel is mainly gathered, there's sometimes it's hidden throughout the stage that you can just pick it up. Uh, but the main way you'll be getting it is you'll actually like, as you, if you launch enemies in air, for every time you launch them, it gives you a fuel once you kill them. So if I launch an enemy once, they'll have like this little counter on them that I'll say like one, and then when I kill them, I'll get one fuel counter. Um, whereas if I launch him two times, and I'll have a two in his head, and when I kill him, he'll give me fuel uh, two fuel containers. I believe this is an enemy over here, so let me just. Actually, it appears to be a friendly. Which isn't very. Huh. Appears to just be a random. Oh, I just killed it. Okay, random NPC dead. <laughs> nice. 
So yeah, that is just kind of the main appeal. And, and when you're in the air, you uh, can hold space to sort of, just sort of glide. So that's sort of the main appeal of this game. It's just a very chilled uh, action platformer. Um, I guess I wouldn't necessarily class it as a first-person shooter, but it does have shooting elements, so I guess you could call it that. Oh. oh. You can also see your feet, which, you know, I know a lot of people go crazy about that, first-person shooters. Although the feet here are just kind of square, are these kind of just long rectangles. I'm not actually sure what this does. I've never encountered this before. Oh, that doesn't... That's about... <laughs> Looks like about. All right, so I guess I'm just kind of navigating around this tree here. Yeah, this area doesn't have very much enemies, so I can't really demonstrate uh, how the combat works. Oh, he, he just went flying. Oh, there's an enemy. Something shooting at me. Where is that actually? Oh, there it is. As you see here, I'm hitting it in the air, and that's actually causing the counter to go up in his head. And when he dies, I get three fuel. Now, of course, different attacks cost different amount of fuel, so... Uh, I can also hit R, uh, which at the cost of fuel will give me the combustion shot I explained earlier, which, when if you hit it enough with enemies, causes them to explode and do uh, damage in a radius. So enemies around him are also damaged. Let me just see uh, what's up this here. I do think this game would benefit from being a bit faster. Um, the game is a bit slow, which is fine for people who kind of want more chillax things, but I just think the game's a bit slow right now. Um, I would like to see maybe the speed doubled. I think that would be very interesting. So it appears that I'm supposed to get the electricity uh, nodes to go over here. So let me see how I can actually do that. Uh, I would have to go over here so I can turn back. I actually don't know how to do that. This is my first time interacting with the electricity nodes. Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm actually supposed to change the environment so that it goes on to the... Oh, okay, I see. So yeah, uh, each level of this game, every now and again, you know, like the first uh, world in this game is kind of just pretty straightforward. Um, but as the game progresses, it gets really interesting. They're, they keep throwing new uh, mechanics at you, like this, for instance. Like I'm not actually sure what I'm supposed to do here. Um, so really, it's just a matter of learning. Oh, God, I might die. I might die. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> That's okay. I kind of got ahead of myself and went way too far. Alright, so I need to find a way to actually have it transfer. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's what that robot was. That's what that guy over there was talking about. Or actually, no, the one over there, the fixed bot. So the stages usually consist of you either progressing through the stage, uh, survival, or collecting fixed spots. That's usually how the uh, game progresses. Okay, so let's do this. I think that will go a little higher, maybe. Let's see here. Alright, so how do we actually get this to do that? So let's come over here. So yeah, so there's some interesting puzzle mechanics that this game throws at you, and the boss fights are pretty fun too. Uh, boss fights are a nice kind of break from your standard gameplay. So let me just do this. Hmm, not actually sure. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, see now it's starting to actually go. So now we have those going over there. Actually, wait, no, we don't. Let me try this. Go up one. Hmm, let's try, let's try manipulating the momentum here a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's what we want. We want it to kind of go a little bit steady. We don't want it to go too, so if we create a slope there, then it just goes down and creates a lot of momentum. Okay, so we got that section cleared. It's actually the first time the game's ever uh, thrown this kind of puzzle at me, so this is very interesting. Mix up from what this, from what usually the kind of game usually plays. Uh, so yeah, the game was this game originally started out as part of the seven day FPS as an entry in the seven day FPS challenge. Oh god, this thing, so loud. Yeah, I can't really demonstrate too much abilities here because of uh, there aren't really any enemies to show off any need attacks to. Okay, wow, so that's gotta go way over there. Okay, I think what I want to do is do 
this. Now this thing has to go really slow, so we have to let's try creating a slope so that way it really launches. There we go. All right, that was pretty quick. Figure that one out. So, and then it needs to, that needs to actually touch, okay. Let me figure this out again. Yeah, so this is actually a really interesting stage. Uh, it's a really interesting puzzle as well. Okay, so that one needs to go far as well, so I think if we slope it, it should reach, possibly. Oh, nope, it needs to go, oh, actually, wait, that will work. It just needs to keep hitting it, okay. All right, and this is activated. Yeah, there we go. That's yeah. It's been a very interesting stage. Whoa! Cool your jets, buddy. All right, and there we go. Yeah, so that was a pretty straightforward level. Definitely uh, an interesting. Change of pace from the Let's usual. Let's pause and reflect. We just shot ourselves out of a cannon and onto a jet dragon. I think we're having a good day. <laughs> There's definitely some interesting instances of dialogue in this game. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and play through this section real quick, just to show you guys some uh, de a better demonstration of the how the game usually plays, which is just kind of uh, ground combat. So, yeah, you can do all kinds of things once you start to manipulate the environment. It's a very interesting mechanic. I think it's pretty fun doing it. Like, just knocking these enemies around. It's pretty, it's pretty fun. Pretty amusing. Okay, so he's got four, so now it'd be a good time. Oh wow, he actually extends his legs. So there we go. I just got three fuel for him. Four fuel. So now I can actually use my special abilities here. So let me demonstrate some abilities here, like two. Is this. this is probably my favorite ability. This is just the funnest to use, in my opinion. Just knocks everything in the air. It's a really fun ability. Oh, then of course I have the charge shot, which is pretty useful. Alright, so we need to do three for a grenade. Get him! Oh, whoa, yeah, that grenade messed things up quite a bit, which is what I wanted it to do. Okay, we need to do this real quick. Oh, I died. Damn it. Hey there, how you doing? All right, let's do this thing. The game's actually pretty forgiving with uh, death. Like, usually in most stages, the game will just straight up revive you, so it's you don't really lose any progress or anything. Yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate some of the uh, interesting abilities that the game gives you. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Get him. Yeah! Do, then we do this, that way we can stand on top of this and just avoid them. We try to... Oh, it's this guy I gotta kill. This is gonna keep some of them. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, they they appear to be stuck in air. <laughs> That's supposed to happen, I don't think. Grenade. Frag out. Yeah, so that's probably one of the coolest things about this game is the uh, power-ups. The game does take a little bit to really get interesting. Um, if you get this game, you know, don't be too turned off by the start of the game, because the start of the game is very kind of slow, and, you know, the game doesn't really pick up until you start to get new abilities and start to run into different enemy types. That's when the game really starts to get very interesting. Yes. See, I think I've uh, demonstrated... Oh, whoa. As the game progresses, you got all kinds of different enemy types. Enemy types. Okay. I don't have any... Okay, so let's do this. Like that. And for you, let's try to shoot my thing. Woo! Oh, I tried to get that missile. <laughs> Didn't work out. Yeah, we're not gonna. I think I have to collect all of the fixed bots in order to leave the stage. I'm not entirely sure, but so we'll just go ahead, do it anyway. 
Oh, there's one way back there. I forgot. Uh oh. So this is what I'm talking about. The games. Uh, this would have been about the pace being kind of slow because when you're not um, like killing enemies or anything, then the game just kind of like if you're just going to one area to another, the game pace can feel very slow, in my opinion. Uh, but it's still not bad. Yeah, well, once you collect all the fixed spots, you go through the uh, charge, supercharge. And whenever you use your uh, right click, it actually changes multiple tiles instead of just one. And then also all of your. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All of your attacks are uh, actually supercharged, like your regular attack here. It has a huge blast radius, and you can spam it. I don't think any of your abilities are actually yeah, your abilities are powered up quite a bit actually. Yeah, I was gonna go ahead and complete the stage here. This was not covered in the employee handbook. Anyway, so yeah, that's Cloud Base uh, Prime. Very interesting game. Uh, I'm, I look forward to see how the game will improve and add different types of mechanics and gameplay uh, features. I was actually very interested in that level where I had to get those little electrical balls to the tree. That was a very interesting uh, mechanic. Kind of a nice, uh, you know, change from the usual pace of the game. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to pick this game up, you can get it on Steam. I think it's about $10, uh, which really isn't a bad price. And like I said, it has day one Linux support. Uh, so yeah, and it's a pretty good port. It run, It's a Unity game, so, you know, they can't be... I haven't really had any st stability or performance issues. Uh, anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been Ghost Squad 57. Thanks to the developer for sending me a review of this game. Signing out.